My name is Satyam Narayan. I'm a thermal validation engineer at Arrival. We check if things are too hot or too cold. I'm working on every aspect of thermal validation for the bus, passenger comfort and battery heating and cooling. The thermal management is quite key because firstly, passengers must be comfortable, driver must be comfortable in the vehicle. Also, we need to ensure that the vehicle is at the right temperature so that it could perform all of its relevant functions. Today we are at Myra, which is one of the UK's biggest vehicle test facility. We've got a permanent base here where we prepare all of our vehicles for testing, the bus, van, car and so forth. We're at the climatic test chamber doing temperature testing ranging from minus 40 up to plus 50 degrees Celsius. We intend to sell this vehicle in lots of different markets around the world, so we need to ensure that it's capable of performing in lots of different ambient temperatures. In a cold country like Canada, where it could get as cold as minus 40, we need to ensure that passengers who are using this product can be comfortable throughout their journey. On the other end of the scale, the passenger using this bus in Delhi as a daily commute. We want to ensure that it's sufficient cooling to ensure that our passengers could complete their journey in, in the highest level of comfort possible. The bus that we're testing today is a prototype vehicle. It's quite heavily instrumented with hundreds of thermocouples, pressure sensors, humidity sensors, etc. And it's really to help us understand all of those things related to thermal performance. Today we are doing a mild heating test and it's really to understand how quickly it could heat up and how well it could maintain that temperature throughout a typical city journey where the doors are opening and closing to pick passengers up. We're also doing what we call a defrost test. We're looking at how quickly we could clear that ice on the screen. The system performance looks good and from a passenger comfort point of view, I sat in the bus as well while doing the test. Although it was minus five degrees C outside, the doors were opening and closing quite frequently. It was a comfortable place to be. After years of virtual development, we get something that we can feel and touch and you know, put it through its paces and see what it performs like. Before we receive a vehicle like this to test, there is a lot of component level testing, rig testing, including our own arrival components that we develop in-house as well. Beyond that, we also do in-market testing, so actually having the vehicle on public roads with more real-world conditions. At the moment, the uh, vibe is quite dynamic, energetic, exciting. We've got lots of prototype vehicles running around that we're testing. It'll be quite exciting to see these buses on the road in cities all over the world and seeing passengers, drivers experiencing all of the good aspects of these products and also the pedestrians not having to breathe in harmful particles from exhausts. Seeing that entire picture at the end of this, it will be the perfect ending to this entire journey. <laughs>